Hello, welcome to Anselm Griffith's Occasional Scenes in MATLAB Tutorials. Today we're visiting uh, video processing and just to say clearly, just up there, that this is not my work, this came from Image Analyst on MATLAB Central. Okay, so just to get that out of the way. Just to say I did something very similar to this, not exactly, but quite similar to this uh, on the January the 14th 2010 but uh, this method is obviously up to date this is really for release 2015b so this is up to date so let's just run this just to see what we're about to do so as we let that play we're reading in uh, a bit of video which is inbuilt that comes with MATLAB we're going along here where the mouse is we're doing the mean gray levels okay here we're doing an adaptive background so we're just doing slight frame differences so as we can pick up the movement and here we've done the binarized difference so we've actually subtracted you know frame n minus frame n minus one and we plotted that as well and that would be used in object tracking and i have another youtube video on that uh, again courtesy of uh, steve evans of matlab central so just to say it's what's this about it's about reading in frames displaying it uh, and just plotting and then writing the when we read in the video writing each frame to disk and then at the end we can take those frames read them in and make a video out of it and just one other thing while we're doing it the final bit at the end that's the reading in the frames um, and make, converting it back into a video that works in 2015b and on and i'm using 2015a so that little bit just won't work for me but uh, i'm just going to say no to that because it'll crash on me so let's just have a look at the code and just to maximize my screen now i'm that. okay so we're going to run through this reasonably uh, you know not flying but just to give an idea so if you want the source code there it is and it was a pick of the week so it's you know when it's a pick of the week you know it's good so i think i've listed all the commands that we're going to use there So, okay, we cleared the screen, we closed um, any figures, we cleared the workspace. Uh, that line there, 53 workspace, that'll make the workspace appear on its own. The screen, which I've undocked just there a second ago, and the font size is 22. And the reason why he made the font size 22, you can actually see what's going on. So line 58, rhinos.avi, that comes with MATLAB, it's inbuilt. And we pick the folder and then on 61 we get all the you know the name and the folder etc 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 so on 64 uh, we get all this dialogue boxes coming up you know if it doesn't find it well then it'll give you some suitable error message etc 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 so uh, image analyst was here was putting in some quite good error checking i'm just going to move on so on line 80, we read it in. On line 82, we get the number of frames. We get the height, we get the width. And we've written none of the frames, so it's that zero. We get a figure. Uh, we get the current figure there. And we just set it up so that we're ready to go. Uh, prompt message. Okay, so that's an sprintf. Do you want to in the files of the disk we saw that running a second ago you get that question dialog box save individual frames okay and we say yes we're just going to do the yes bit so write the disk is true so you extract that out using that file parts uh, just a slight reminiscing and i did the original youtube 
2009-2010, you either had to know your Unix commands or you had to know your DOS commands to get the, the equivalent file parts to work. Okay, so we're there. Now, the number of frames, so I think there's 114 frames, so 114 comma 1 for me and grey, 114 comma 1 for red, 114 comma 2 for green, 114 uh, comma, uh, when I say 114 comma 1 for green. Okay, so remember you have red RGB, so you're just making zeros, 114 1 for red, 114 1 for green, 114 1 for blue. And okay, so you read in the frame, you display it, and there you put up the caption frame one etc 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 and draw now there will just in case there's any time lag it'll get us to update immediately so there you start to write out the framed disk okay And there you are, I am right, frame within text, etc. The color data, the output file name, a file type PNG. Use the RGB command to convert to grayscale. And then you get the mean red, mean green, and mean blue. Remember, all over here, all the rows, all the columns, layer one all the row all the columns layer two all the row all the columns layer three then in two t remember with the subplot you have two by two so you've created two rows two columns and in position two which is the top right the northeast you do a plot of the mean grayscale levels. The marker is black with a dash and the line width is two. And then likewise you do the red, the green and the blue. Okay. Uh, next bit there, you just bring the title back because the plot will exist, erase existing file. And then you just get a progress indicator like frame one written to file, frame two written to file, etc. etc. Next thing, if you remember in the bottom left from the thing, we want to do some frame differencing, and he's just changing the background ever so slightly. So, by using this alpha here, and the alpha is 50%, so you're just getting a, a slight difference between the two of them. I display the changing adapting background. And then in the subplot again, uh, two rows, two columns in position four. So position four would be the southeast. You display the binary image. And remember the binary image is the current frame minus the previous frame. If the background is still and there's no panning going on, you just get the the person moving, the cat moving, the cow moving. Now in this particular one, the camera is panning. So you know the difference between the two, between the current frame and the previous frame will not be that clear. You know, if you're looking to do object tracking, this sort of situation where the camera is panning, you'd want some KLT type transfer. Uh, there's just a couple of display messages that you've written with the disk. And then there's a user input weight message box. So just like you'd have in Visual Basic, some sort of dialog box pops up. And it'll just wait until you acknowledge it. Now this bit here on line 229, do you want to write the frames? Do you want to take the frames as you're written to this back in to MATLAB? And make it a movie. I didn't run it earlier on because it just won't work because I have 2015A. 
esposo. Anyway, the core of it is here, lines 251. to 261 you have a nice for loop because you know it's got to go around a fixed number of times so it's uh, an unconditional loop you know the number of frames so you're just going to read it in here's the key line i know there's other ones you read in the key you read in the frame the 256 you convert the frame into uh, that's a picture frame into a movie frame with that command there and then you write the video with a coming frame you close the right object you get rid of the things the, uh, the image and the plot and then you put up with just a couple of display okay so now i know i went through that reasonably quickly but i you know when you're at this it's grand if you just want to run it yourself and you just bang in your own bit of video but I was trying to give some explanation as to what's going on if you're sort of the intermediate stage. Hope it helps a little. Thanks very much for listening.